Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial for Motion Symphony. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at the Motion Snapshot node. Now, this is a node that you're pretty much gonna use all the time with Motion Symphony. You're only ever gonna need one per animation graph, but you probably will need it. What it does is it takes a snapshot of our motion or our character's current pose so that our animation nodes, our Motion Symphony animation nodes can ask this node, hey, what is the current pose or what is the pose from last frame? It can then use this to match uh, its current pose, so we get smooth transi transitions between states. For example, motion matching can continuously track its own pose by itself, but if it's going to transition into another state that has a motion matching node, it can't really reconcile between the two. However, with the motion snapshot node, we can instead ask the motion snapshot node, hey, what's the current pose? And then we can match based on that. The same thing goes for pose matching nodes and, and all that. So it's a very important node and it's very simple to set up. So let's have a look at our project. So I've got a simple animation graph here. I've got my state machine over here. I've got an inertialization node over here. That's a blending node. If you didn't know, uh, be sure to check out this feature in Unreal Engine documentation. Then I have my motion snapshot no node. If you have any IK, that goes after that. So in between the final output and the motion snapshot node. So let's have a look at this motion snapshot node as well. What we can do is we can set up a number of bones to record. In this case, I've got left foot, right foot, pelvis, left hand, right hand, and neck. Now you only need to snapshot the bones that your pose and motion matching nodes are going to use. So in the case of, in most cases, this is only going to be the left foot, right foot, and pelvis. I've got a few more here. It doesn't really matter if you have too many, uh, except it will be a little less performant, but just have the minimum of what you want. If you forget to add a bone, then it will automatically be registered at runtime. This is just a bit slower for loading, so I recommend setting the bones here based on all the nodes you have. For example, in this, in the motion config, I've got left foot, right foot, and pelvis. And say in this pose matching node, you can see I've got the left foot and right foot. So as long as those things are uh, being snapshotted in this pose, in this motion snapshot node, we can uh, it can be reconciled. So the only other features is retarget pose because we might have skeletons that are compatible but they need to be retargeted. This, uh, the pose matching and the motion matching node, all the data is based on the source skeleton. However, our animation graph might be running the animations on a different skeleton that is still compatible, if you know what I mean. So it might have different lengths but have all the same bones. In this case, the pose needs to be retargeted back to the source and that's what this checkbox does. There's a little bit of overhead, um, but you do need to do it if you're not using the exact same skeleton. If your source skeleton is the exact same skeleton as your character, then you could uncheck that and skip that completely. So that's just about it for the motion snapshot node. If you don't really understand it, don't worry. It's very simple. You just create it and put it in your graph here and all your other motion symphony nodes will work off that. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial.